streets gonna always be fucked. Yeah. 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 Let's go out the Holly yeah. Grove. Okay. Now put the mic on the map if you won't get on. Now put the spitter on the map if you won't get on. Now put the pole on the map if you won't get on. Say put the feet on the map if you won't get on. Say put E I on the map if you won't get on. K put the Drew on the map if you won't get on. Say put the Mark on the map if you won't get on. I'm a I'm a I'm a good looking rapper. I ain't trying to stunt. What up, though? What's cracking with all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there? I hope everyone in my Scorpio collective is doing well. So we're going to get into this reading, y'all, and see what it is that spirit wants you to know. If you find that some resonate, you already know what to do, Scorpio. If you are interested in a personal, my love readings are on sale for 35 Okay, so email me. My email will be in the description box below. Hit me up, and let's get you scheduled, all right? So we're going to start off this reading pulling from the answer in time. So let's see what it is that spirit wants us to know. Messages for my Scorpio. All right, you guys. So something can take place within the next six weeks. Okay, so for some of y'all, this could be like the first week of January because we do have January. So something can happen within the next six weeks. Then we also have January here, okay? Ooh, okay, we got the next 72 hours, okay? So something can take place within the next 72 hours. That can be like over the weekend. And then we got still waiting. So this gives me the energy, you know, of something that's not happening yet or something that's not ready to come into fruition. So some of you may still be waiting on something or someone, okay? All right, so let's get into it, y'all. Let's see what it is that you need to know. Messages for my Scorpios. All right, y'all. So we now we are in Sagittarius season, which represents our second house. You know, we've been doing those money readers and talking about this good fortune and abundance that's coming. Okay, so some of you could experience that during Sagittarius season. Okay, so let's see what's gonna happen. Messages for Scorpio. What do they need to know? Messages for my Scorpios. All right, so Scorpio, someone here is reminiscing. All right, this could be you. This could be someone around you. So this is someone that's thinking about, I feel like more of the good times, more of the happier times, okay? Someone here may be trying to go back to a happier place or when things were better between you and this person here, okay? So someone could be reminiscing about the past, maybe about you and them, how things used to be between y'all, okay? Tell us more. Ooh, but well somebody feels like you deserve better than them, okay? So somebody could be reminiscing about how they treated you how they've been treating you, okay? What's been going on in this relationship here? Somebody feels like that you deserve better than them. You know what I'm saying? You deserve a man that can treat you better, give you the things that you want. You deserve a woman that can meet your, your standards, meet your values, okay? Meet you energetically here, okay? So someone here has been reminiscing, I feel like, about really this connection. They be like, man, Scorpio really do deserve better than me. Like, shit, I am not the one, okay? Tell us more. But this could be someone, I feel like there's still love for you. You see this car kind of came out sideways here, okay? So I feel like maybe a problem or issue is, like maybe you still love this person. Maybe this person still loves you, you know, but they feel like they just can't give you what you need, Scorpio. They can't give you what you deserve. So this gives me the energy of someone who knows they have been treating you right. And this person does not want to start over. So I feel like for some of you, maybe you don't want to, you know, reconcile with this person you don't want to start over because this card came out in reverse so i feel like there can still be love between you and someone but it's like right now you don't want to start over you don't want to give them another chance like some of you could be trying to move on or maybe you've already moved on from this person okay tell us more for some of you maybe this relationship was kind of difficult because maybe your family and friends didn't approve or their family and friends didn't approve but that could have been like a major factor in this relationship and this marriage while you know this could have been the reason why you and them was always having issues because family and friends is always in your damn business here okay let's get a couple of more messages for my scorpios i love you scorpio let's get a couple of more oh for some of you this could be your twin flame all right this could have been what happened within your twin flame Connection. This could mean why you and this person weren't able to connect or why you guys weren't able to have the relationship or move forward the way you wanted to 
because somebody, family, and friends was all up in their business. They always had something to say. They always had some type of negative talk. Like, you know, so for some of you, this person can want you to keep family and friends about your business, okay? Because they could be the main reason why things didn't work out. All right, maybe this is someone who feels like at one point in time, you were the person of their dreams. You were the man, you were the woman of their dreams. Like this could be how you feeling about someone. You know, this person was the man or the woman of your dreams, but it's like right now, uh-uh, you don't want to reconnect with this person. You're not interested in giving them a second chance, okay? So let's look some more. Let's dig just a little bit deeper and see what happened in this connection between you and this person. Messages for my Scorpios. Remember, you guys, if anything is resonated, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you are interested in a personal, my love readings are on sale right now for 35, okay? All right. Messages for Scorpio. What do they need to know? Damn, I'm struggling. <laughs> All right. What does Scorpio need to know? Okay, so we got X. So for some of you, you are separated from this person or you put some type of space between you and them because you were trying to stop this pattern. Like you started to notice you and this person had a cycle or a pattern that you always went through or you noticed a pattern with this person. Like they always did the same shit and you was like, uh-uh, I'm going to have to go on and stop that. So for some of you, you could have could have been the one like initiated this separation or breakup. Maybe you've been giving this person silent treatment or they've been giving this to you. But whoever this is that's receiving this silent treatment, baby, they feel abandoned. They feel like you just done left them out in the cold, Scorpio, and left them out for dead, okay? Or this could be how you're feeling. Then we got the lightning bolts, okay? So this gives me like a tower. So for some of you, there can be a sudden change. So this is the dynamic of your relationship, of a connection, of a marriage right now, okay? There can be some type of sudden change when it comes to this situation. You can receive some type of shocking news, all right? This person may surprise you. That may come become an epiphany, okay? Maybe you don't realize I can't be this... I can't be with this person no more, you know, and maybe this shit ain't going to work out because I feel like there's a lot of turmoil going on, okay? And for some of you, you're trying to transform. You don't want to be in this type of energy. You don't want to continue to go to the same shit with this type of person or with these type of people, you know? Like, I don't know about y'all. Y'all know I told y'all a couple of days ago I had blocked my twin, and just today, what was that? Yeah, that was earlier today. I was like, you know what, fuck this. And I just deleted the whole app off my phone. I got off Facebook. Because that was how we communicated. But I was like, you know what? I don't really want to deal with nothing or no one from my past. I don't want to deal with no old friends. I don't want to deal with no family members. Like, people that, it shit didn't work out for a reason. I'm not cool with them. I don't talk to these people for a reason. So, shit, I don't need to bring them back. Like, bring me somebody new. So, that's the kind of energy that I'm in right now. And I feel like for some of you, maybe you feel the same way. Like, you notice, you know, I noticed a pattern with my twin. You know, in the silent treatment and taking 35 years and days to test that. Like, I'm not going to go through this shit, man. I'm sick of this shit. You know, like, I want to talk to somebody. Like, I understand people be busy and having shit to do, but nigga, if you right there and I see you, you know, like, come on. Like, I'm not going to play those games. So I feel like for some of y'all, y'all just over the shit. Okay? All right, tell us more. Messages for my Scorpio. So there could be some type of sudden change here. We're going to clarify. Then we got camera, okay? Somebody here wants to change your perception, all right? Maybe this is someone that's saying they learned from the past. You know, they learn from their mistakes and the things that they did. So this is kind of giving me maybe two different people here. Y'all can have a situation now to where someone feels like you deserve better than them and you start the pattern with this person, okay? And then you have someone here that's, that I feel like has changed, you know what I'm saying? They're saying they changed, so they're learning from how they handled you in the past. They want to make some new memories. This could be someone who got old photographs and stuff for you, okay? This person just wants to make new memories here, okay? If you got bad memories when it comes to this person, you know what I'm saying? They don't want you to always think about them in that light. You know, they want to change your perception of how you view them, okay? Let's get one more, and then we're going to clarify. Messages for my Scorpios. And we got self-indulgence. I feel like right now, a lot of you guys are focused on yourself. You indulging in yourself and pouring back into your cup, okay? You know your worth. or you. I feel like you're starting to learn your worth. And once you learn your worth, worth Scorpio, you want to allow certain situations. You want to allow yourself to be treated a certain type of way by a certain person or people. You know what I'm saying? You stop, you stop the pattern. Like, you stop continuously allowing yourself to go through the same shit and you want to heal 
You're working on our shadow work, okay? A lot of us, hey, we still operate out of our dark side sometimes. It's okay. But you're learning to appreciate yourself. Because when you know your worth, you start to be thankful. Even though there's some things you don't like about yourself, you even appreciate the, the bad things about you. You be like, well, damn it, if it weren't for this, then you know, woo the woo this and that. So I feel like you're really overindulging in yourself. You know, pouring back into your cup, Scorpio. A lot of us, shit, we've been pouring into everybody else. And it's time for us to pour back into ourselves. All right, so let's look at you deserve better than me. So let's see who this person is that feels like that you deserve better than them. Okay, somebody feels like they just ain't been treating you right. And ain't no need of you continuously with this relationship, this marriage, whatever it is. Like, you deserve better. So tell me about you deserve better than me. Messages for my Scorpio. Who is this person that feels like Scorpio deserve better? Maybe this is how you feeling. Maybe you feel someone in your energy de deserves better than you. Tell us more. Tell me about you deserve better than me. Messages for Scorpio. Tell me. Ooh, okay. The world. All right. So for some of you, maybe you're closing out a cycle here. And this is why someone here is, is starting to realize something, okay? Because you've closed out this cycle with this person. This could have been like a lesson for some of you that you will learn, okay? A lot of people cross our paths, y'all, each and every day to teach us some type of lesson here. You could have been dealing with a Leo, an Aquarius, another Scorpio. Who else did I say about it? Or a Taurus here, okay? This could be some type of cycle that's ending. And now this new cycle that's beginning is you focusing on yourself, okay? You knowing your worth. I'm sorry, I'm putting my notebook down. <laughs> uh, let me move myself around. Okay. So this new, new cycle that you're about to go through, Scorpio, is you focusing on yourself, you working on your worth, and you starting to appreciate yourself a little bit more, okay? Some of you could be graduating this December. Congratulations. Maybe from school or something of that nature. Some of you could be traveling, but it's like you're ready to move to the next phase. And the next phase of your life is you focusing on you and leaving this person in the past, okay? So let's get, so this person that feels like you deserve better than them, Scorpio, or someone that you have closed out some type of cycle. For some of you, this could be a karmic cycle. So you could be seeing lots of 999, anything with zeros, ones, and nines in, okay? It talks about endings and new beginnings. Okay, so tell me about the next 72 hours for Scorpio. So we got something that's going to happen. Either this person could tell you that you deserve better to better than them and they're ready to close this off. So tell us about the next 72 hours for Scorpio. Next 72 hours for Scorpio, okay? We got the King of Wands and the Queen of Swords, okay? So I feel like, Scorpio, in the next few days, you're going to be turning into this queen of swords, somebody who's very independent, but you're going to start cutting motherfuckers off, okay? You're not going to be so open to maybe rekindle situations or to be so forgiving or to be so understanding. Like, you're going to be like, no, nah, because you're focused on yourself. And when you focus on stuff, you got to do what you got to do for you, okay? Now, for some of you, the next 72 hours, okay, we got this king of wands. You could be meeting this person. You could be dealing with this person. This could be a Scorpio or a Sag. All right. This could be this player energy. This could have been, you know, someone who was in and out of your life. They were very passionate, though. They were very exciting, loyal. For some of you, this could have been a strong provider. Like, they provided for you. But, shit, you can't provide for my feelings and take care of my needs if you're in and out of my damn life. So, tell me about this King of Wands. Look at this. Four of Wands. For some of you, this could hook it up. This could be who you possibly could be walking away from, okay? 11, 11, this could be your divine counterpart. Could be someone you've already walked away from or you will be. Now, this doesn't have to be your twin. This could be surrounding a twin flame situation, but this talks about a broken home, a commitment, and a marriage that is not fulfilling here, okay? Whatever plans you have with this person, like for you guys to have a future or something of that nature, those plans could get canceled, okay? Because you're struggling to find peace. And the only way that some of you guys are going to find peace is to walk away from this situation, okay? That's what you're being called to do within the next 72 hours. So let's see who this reading is about, Scorpio. I love you guys. If anything resonated, once again, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Love readings are on sale for 35 You can be dealing with Aries, Cancer, Taurus, Virgo. Capricorn, Aries, Sag, Cancer. 
Heavy Libra, Scorpio, and Cancer. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.